<laughs> it's working out all right. Can yep, you you're all good. How's it going? Sweet. Uh, I'm doing great. How about yourself? Much better. Much better. Oh, that's super good to hear. Okay, good. here you go. Um, and let me just go double check real quick what it is that you wanted to go over today. Sounds good. And how's practice been going for you? Practice has been going good. I've been, uh, I have like a few people that I get to play with. And uh, I've been definitely applying a lot of the things that we talked about last time. So stuff like, um, so the general stuff like um, how to deal with zoners in terms of uh, with Mega Man, just making sure that I take advantage of like their blind spots in terms of where they can zone. Mm -hmm. And just knowing them with lemons and just like repeating the process. Good. So, Definitely helped me out, not just with like dealing with zoners, but I've able, been able to like apply it more in terms of like just general spacing as well. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely been something. It's definitely like a good thing to like have had to work on for like an extended period of time to really like build on like more and more on top of it. So it's been really really helpful. Gotcha. Oh, as a heads up, I apologize preemptively. Uh, I do have my windows open right now, and I live on like a main road, so we get lots of. Uh... Lots of fire trucks, ambulances, every single one of them in town passes uh, my house. <laughs> don't worry about, no worries about that. I know exactly what that's oh, like. It is the worst thing on earth, dude. <laughs> yeah, my old apartment was right next to one of the busiest highways in Chicago. Oh. So, like, noise constantly. And, like, whenever I was calling somebody, they'd think that I was, like, outside. Oh, dude, that's the worst. I'm Yeah, we're, me and my girlfriend are looking to move soon, and I'm just like, I can't wait for the sweet silence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, I don't man. think it's that rewarding once you move. Oh, dude. I'll wake up one day and it won't be to the sound of construction. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good feeling. Trust mm -hmm. me, it's worth it. Okay. All right, so uh, do you want to start on a certain stage in specific, in, like, specific or... Oh, no, you can set it to random. I've got legal stages set, so you're all good. Um, okay. Let's kind of see where you're at, and then we'll kind of jump into the things that you wanted to go over for today, all right? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, good pin get faster, is that what you said? Yeah, well, I guess, like, side B, just in general. Uh, I don't believe it got faster, it has less lag now. Oh, okay. So it's like, Maybe. I can just do this and, like, not worry. Or I can do, like, landing pin like this and it's safe, as well as I can do this and jump now. Oh, okay. So, this did you play Smash 4? Yeah, I did. It's very so, much like Smash 4 now. Yeah, this is very familiar. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's neat. I, I like that change. Oh yeah, it's definitely made the character significantly better. Yeah, so people are saying Corn was just the only character that like I never have like fought like post patch that got like buffed. Mmm. So. Okay. Sound of me karate chopping you.
Yeah, you just did the pin there and just jumped right back. Yeah, the yeah, there's no lag at all. And if I get it in the ground like this, I just canceled no almost no lag. It's like okay. very, very minimal risk. I see that now. Except that's why you'd use it to like try and punish like standard get because it's like even oh, yeah. a lot less like leeway for you to get punished. Mm -hmm. Nice. Okay. Let's do one more game before I say anything, okay? Yeah, sure. Oh, I love that you have Slowpoke. <laughs> I've, I've gained a, a lot of appreciation for Slowpoke over the past year. I don't know why. It's just I just love how goofy he looks. He's just a good guy. <laughs> He's just vibing. <laughs> Try to DI away for your combo DI, okay? Alright, sounds good. Of like learn about uh, the, learning this match in specific event, but like figure out exactly what I can punish with those things, what I can't. Mm -hmm. Remember, you can always just check ultimate frame data. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I just uh, had to need to for. Oh yeah, of course. No, no. After this game, definitely pull it up. Ooh, good tag. I just call it a lucky guess, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you had the intuition. Yeah, exactly. Hey, <laughs> you went for the thing. <laughs> Useful, trust me. Oh, it's good. No, no, it's good. I 100% agree with you. I just wasn't ready for it. Nice. 
Not as tip, dude. I think I was done for anyway. No, no, you were doing really good. You almost had the reversal. You just needed to get that edge card right at the end of there. But it was kind of a tough one because I got hit really far from you. But that's okay. You've definitely got a much better, like... You have a good grasp of your game plan. Now is, like, where you got to start, like, capitalizing on specific character interactions. And like you said, it's like you weren't sure... Um... Wet, like what you couldn't couldn't punish and like that's the big thing so like what's a matchup that you're a little bit more comfortable with right now that you've been practicing because i want to see that um let's see characters have been practicing probably the most guys so like bayonetta peach um a few others I'm trying to think uh i guess yeah probably peach the most i would say just because i fight like the most different people that play peach okay like, cool three pretty regularly yeah okay cool let's do another game really quick i just want to see what you're doing in that in a matchup like that where you're more comfortable and then we'll uh we'll go from there okay for sure i like this i like this color a lot for daisy by the way oh it's so good yeah i like the bubble gum dress cotton candy dude actually yeah probably more cotton candy <laughs> Good. Good spacing. <laughs> That's the plan. Yep. Good get him attack.
Nice. <laughs> nice, that was really good. That was really, really good. Yeah, I definitely uh, see where you're comfortable and like you have definitely solidified like this is your game plan. This is where you, you like win your fights and you've got an idea of like how to pick and choose your fights. This is very, very nice progress to see. Awesome. Okay, so today you wanted to go over dealing with characters of really good like air speed, right? Tricky movement in general is definitely like a rough spot for me. With Peach and Daisy, even though they have float, it's a little bit different for me because with float, you know, you can only go like in so many different directions at once. Mm -hmm. I guess somebody like Mario or Wolf, they're a lot, at least to me, it feels like they're a lot more dynamic in yes. like to go. So that throws me off a lot. And it's difficult to come up with like a consistent plan against uh, with, uh, with stuff, with stuff like that. Yeah, and that's where it gets really hard um, is like, how to fight characters who have better mobility than you and this is where you have to now like start capitalizing and getting more familiar with like again it's like getting more character specific interactions on how do i deal with this character when i'm in the corner and how do i deal with this character when they're in the corner and i saw you put down like getting off ledge versus characters the way you get off ledge isn't like a specific way outside of like if you see them do something bad like a roller commit to an action where it's like a really bad whiff it's very much just mixing up the option and the timing of your getups or actions from ledge you tend to lean a little bit too far into like aggressive options and trying to pellets off ledge too much which is where you get punished a lot but outside of that it's really just mixing up the timing a little bit more you tend to just kind of like hold until the last second a lot right makes sense yeah. Um, but outside of that, it's just, there's no right answer because if the opponent's really good at reacting and covering options or like playing it out well, like it's just that you gotta keep mixing it up. That's it. There's no right answer. That makes sense. Yeah. That, I'd imagine it also like, it's also something that like I have to take into consideration like exactly what my opponent's like ledge trapping options are. Mm hmm. Try Cause certain characters are better at it than others and certain players yeah. are better at it too. You know, Yeah. based on their position, they can cover certain things easier or harder. Um, yeah. A big thing that a lot of people forget about, and I'll just show you this option really quick, is like the way that you can control yourself when you jump. When I jump in uh, from the ledge? Or just yeah, when you jump from the ledge. So when you jump, it looks like this, right? And you say I like jump a little bit in. But if I jump and hold back, you see that? Or if I yeah. jump and hold in, I can move immediately in like that, right? And so every character can do this. And the, and the speed that a character does it is different. So like go and do it yourself really quick. It's so like jump and hold in, yeah. And then now jump and hold into the stage. Yeah, and then if you jump and hold like in a little bit or like wiggle, you see like you can like get serious options. And with a character like yours, you have that into like up B. You have that into like fast fall pellets. You have lots of mix ups. Um, and that's really the big thing that you can work with. That's That's what you wanna do. It's like just be creative with like something as simple as that as well as even like drop up b or drop jump then up b like whatever there's no right answer that's yeah, the big thing i've been using drop up b a little bit more mm -hmm. so this is kind of like a similar concept 
I just never really thought to do it with just the yeah. Go. Yeah, and that's the whole thing. Is like you have so much more control with your character than you actually think is available. And what you got to do is just sit down and just try funny stuff and see what works. You know, a great option yeah. that like people hate but it works is this. <laughs> is like jump into immediate drift like air dodge like that, or like drop uh, drop jump air dodge right. And like depending on your character, that can be easier to get or harder, right? And that's the thing. Or even like one of my favorite ones to do is drop jump neutral air dodge like that. And certain characters, you can yeah, you can get some serious stuff. Or like even like drift in, drift back. Like there's no right answer. But it's just looking at your opponent when once you pick the option and seeing where to go from there because you have an extra mobility option with your up B. Similar to like when I flip kick. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that's you want to like think about up B as a mobility option. Up B yeah. as mobility. It gives you extra time to think. And you if you save your jump before you do it, then you have even more freedom. Okay. All make sense? Yeah, I think so. Okay. So you have that. Um, and like the big one the red flags look for is if someone like rolls, you get to neutral get up for free. If they do like a really hard read on something, if it's a high commitment read, then like you can then roll or get up or drop jump or whatever, right? It, it all comes down to the character and like it's different versus every character, but just keeping in mind like what your opponent's trying to do. Where if you see that they're guessing, let them guess. The only okay. time you can't let a character guess is if they can hit the ledge itself. So like insta pin is a great example. You can't hold ledge, you'll die. <laughs> Make sense? Yeah, for sure. Okay. Do you have any questions? Uh, none so far. I think this is making a lot of sense. Cool. Okay, let me go ahead and jump off here, and then let's play a game with uh, this matchup and see what you're doing. Okay. Yeah. Oh, real quick before we do this, go pull up alternate frame data and just read ZSSs, just to be, just to make sure you got it fresh in your mind. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Zero Suit's definitely a character I've, I've not like too much of a stranger to in this game. Mm -hmm. Definitely one that I uh, I'm glad that you brought this character up because it's definitely one that I don't like that much as Mega Man. Mm -hmm. Like, I've fought Zero Suit players and locals before. Like before I decided I just want to focus on Mega Man, I'd, I'd actually pick like Diddy Kong or something. Mm -hmm. And it would work usually, mostly just because it was easier to um, like catch landings. Yes. But. Um, I guess it's just difficult to translate that to like Mega Man. Yep, exactly. Because he's just such a unique kind of character. It's just trying to fill in that same spot. That's what's going to help you a lot. Yeah. Oh, Becker's a lot slower than I thought it would. Yep. See, it's the little things like that. It's always good to go check this and be like, oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let me know when you're ready. Yeah, I think I'm all good to go. Okay. Ooh, I thought I made it onto the stage there. Yeah, that was a really weird... <laughs> I hit, like, the edge of the ledge. <laughs>
That move is super good. Actually, oh that. yeah, up tilt's nuts. Can't beat it. Yeah. Good. Ooh, did the right idea of bad execution. That's okay. Attack cancel moment. Mm, yeah. Yeah, you see there, it's like you were in a situation where you're kind of uncomfortable and you just kept waiting. That's it. Like, that's what you do. It's like, this is a character that, like, is going to overwhelm you. You're, they're going to move faster and they're going to be able to do more than you can. And you just have to wait and pick your fight. Try to, like, dash back a little bit more and less jumping in place and you'll get hit less. Yeah, you see already? If I'm trying to go after you, I have to be more explicit now because now I have to overshoot. Yeah. Oh, you gotta mash faster, bud. Yeah, I just got caught off guard. No, no, you're good. A little slow on the, little slow on the draw. Had the read. Nice. And see, now you just do it again. And there you go, you did a different timing. And that's all it is. You just make it harder for me. That's it. Yeah. There's, no, there's nothing else to it. Yeah, just having like the different jump angles. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a lot. Oh, that went straight through the level. Oh, I got the wrong hitbox. No. Oh, you want me to die, die. Okay. I thought you were just trying to hit me. <laughs> I, I like know, the confidence. In my head, I was like, I can get this punish here. I, can <laughs> I like that. That's good. That's how you get it. You just got to believe. Good oh, wait. Shoot. Good. Oh, you almost had it. I was trying to get you stuck on the on the ledge trump, and I was going to ledge trump back or you off the explosion. Yeah, I see. I think there's the, there's too much going on in the explosion. I totally just did not see. Yeah, that yeah. Was... And you I ended up under the stage, yeah. But you see, like, that's the whole idea is, like, trying to f move in different ways. And it's just, like, really capitalizing. Like, how do I keep you in this position where I'm actively able to stuff you out? And this is a matchup where, like, forward air is really good. Because you want to think of it. Remember we talked about last time, it's, like, using it kind of like a sword. Yeah. It's the same idea. Like, this is a matchup where it's like, almost think, like, how would Lucina play this matchup? Oh, she just, like, swats the ZSS away. That's what you gotta do. And you have that sword. So you have that option. So on, like, the ground in certain elevations and, like, in when you're, like, lined up with me, you have lemons. By the time I try to get really close to you, you have that option to just, like, throw that sword or, like, opting to, like, shield and mixing up from there and waiting to see what I do. That makes sense? Um, even like walking to bait can be really, really valuable because you just have access to everything like we've talked about before. That's really the big thing is like just m making your opponent have to work harder to interact with you and like capitalizing on that and having more confidence in being in that environment where like you're aware that they are trying to hit you so that you're slowly waiting be like, okay, that option I can I can punish or I can beat out instead of just trying to fight me. Because you won't win if you try to fight me because my frame data and my, my mobility stats are just so much better than yours. Too hard to approach. <laughs> exactly. There, and it, it depends on the player too. You know, sometimes you'll fight a ZSS player that's not good versus Mega Man, and you'll be able to take advantage of them. And so it really comes down to the player, but it's respecting that character at the base and then seeing how the player interacts with you. Because you know, you might fight a ZSS who just doesn't understand lemons. And then you can just lemon them the whole game. Or it can be forward air, it can go either way. Um, it's definitely happened before with Lemons, where I fought like a couple of players that they just um, don't get it. Yeah, yeah. that's your uh, that, it's, that's your gatekeep, right? Right there. Yeah, that definitely is.
Yeah, it's definitely true. It's just a, like like we've been saying, not everybody falls for those tricks. So. Exactly, and that's what you just gotta feel it out. So you gotta know when it does work and when it doesn't, and identify that. Um, and that's really big, as well as like forwarder in general. Um, one of my students in chat just mentioned it too. Like, don't always forget. Like, it's a great option to hit shield if you space it, because most carry, like especially carry like ZSS, she doesn't have a way to punish it if you space it, because up B won't reach that far. And then all her aerials um, don't hit low, because she jumps in forwarders and jumps in back airs. And up smash doesn't hit that far away from her either. That makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so let's try it again, uh, but let's do warrior this time. For sure. And it's the same exact ideas. I will tell you, you won't be able to grab anything except for landing back here. Okay. Oh, to like shield grab? Yeah, you won't be able to, yeah. Yeah, some of it was like a, just like a habitual, mm -hmm. just like grabbing. So. Yeah. There you go, good grab. Nice. So sneaky. Huh? Look how sneaky, how was you say? <laughs> And you see, like, Wario kind of jumps like you do, but he's a little bit better at it. So you can't rely on just doing that, because I'm if, like, both the character and the player are showing you that they're better at it, then you need to find a different avenue instead of trying to mimic me. That makes sense? Yeah, that's what you mean. And that's something that you get caught up, because, like, you're trying to do what I'm doing a little bit better, but if a character, especially inherently, is better at it, it's going to be really hard to do that. You're right. <laughs> Quick little spike. That was crazy. And you see, like, this is now uh, the flip side again, where it's like, Wario's even better at overwhelming you, because he's so good at hitting shield. Like, so good at it, and his out-of-shield options are really good. So if he, he hits your shield safely, and you try to punish, and then he just, like, nares or fares you out of shield, you're gonna get stuffed out. So a really big thing to keep in mind is, like, learning when it's your turn 
during disadvantage. So that's like being aware of overextensions and when like a combo isn't true. So like for example, um, when I like down tilt you, there are certain percents where it is true into like dash attack and stuff like that. But there are a lot of times where like I could see you hit shield or see you press a button and then I would grab you because you were scared and like trying to mash something out, but you're too close to the ground. That makes sense. Yeah, I see what you mean. And so it's like look, going in and exploring those specific situations to Wario and learning like, how do I deal with getting down tilt at certain percents? And like a lot of times just like, oh, hey, just down tilt dash attack, nothing you can do about it. That's just the way it works, right? But it's when they get all the other stuff off of it that you're getting mixed up. And it's like when you're jumping and then I'm fairing you and stuff like that. Um, and that's what you're getting taken advantage of is like trying to like kind of like you're trying to push back at the wall that is moving towards you when you need to just take a step back and accept that I'm taking the space. So like when you get put, it's like accepting game state more like nat or rather naturally and making that your default to go like, okay, I'm getting hit. How do I stop getting hit? Well, that that's where you, that's where it comes in, like what you were saying, just uh, dashing backwards instead of like jumping in the air. Because mm -hmm. like, you're losing the air to air. And the main reason is because like, you have to be in a really specific kind of position to be able to beat me with forward air. But if you're too close, forward air doesn't become an option because I just jump and hit you, like rising aerial and hit you. That makes sense? So in th those situations, it's better to just like forfeit the stage control. Yes. Like, and try to catch so them like, whiff punish the action or catch the next action action so it's like if you can't punish a look for b so for example i'll get uh, uh, we'll do a little mock situation here because this is really hard especially against wario so if let's say you come down here i do let's say i do this and i land with like up air and air right with punishing these is basically impossible unless you do like pellet right but if i do up air and then i jump as i'm rising you can just jump and forward air me because I gotcha. that, you're looking for that next action. Or if I like lay like this and run at you, then you can go and hit me. Or if I like nair and try to dash back, you can try to shoot pellets and interrupt my dash back and stuff like that. You just get that little bit of chip. But it's about looking for what people do next a lot. Because it's the same thing as like when I hit your shield. So like, come here. His up air is just like ZSS. When I do that, you're not punishing me. It's just not happening. It's not going to happen at all. But if I do something bad, so if I do like up air, and then I jump up like here, then you can hit me with whatever you want because I'm still in your space. But I can get that one free up air and then try to mix up what I do next, try to reset and apply apply pressure. But I can't do much more. That makes sense? Yeah. Especially because you have things the... like up smash. Yeah. So go ahead. So it's just looking for that like next option instead of just like trying to punish like what's right in front of me. Yes, exactly. That's the whole thing is like you're fighting a character like this and he's doing all these nares and he's doing all this stuff and you're like, wow. Really wish I could punish that. Don't worry about that. What you're looking for is like there are different targets, right? Is that you have the, the things that you get to hit. And that's dash, jump, and whiffing, right? Because during those times, they're stuck in an animation in some capacity. And for certain characters, some of those things are easier or harder. Wario, whiffing real hard. Unless I whiff like this, you're not whiff punishing me. It's just not going to happen, right? Unless you have like a really, like you're ready for it and you have like the preconceived idea that you're, you're, um, anticipating it, right? That makes sense. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then wouldn't that same problem come up then if we're talking about like what follows up after you like get something on my shield, for instance, because like, I feel like reacting to a jump right afterwards is a little tricky to do. That is hard to do, but in the thing, when you are in specific situations, you can simplify the specific things you're looking for, right? So oh, yeah. as you're playing a person in the moment, there are like obvious things where it's like, obviously if I do like up air into F tilt, F tilt is just bad. So you want to have a preconceived, like predetermined answer, like prepared going into a set to fight Wario. How do I punish that F tilt? Or can I punish that F tilt? The same thing for down tilt or up tilt. One of the basic things that Wario players do wrong is they do up air, up tilt and up tilt, up tilt does nothing on shield. Up tilt is just asking to get punished. I'll even get you the exact number so you know, because up tilt's great. You know, up tilt is a great combo starter. I can even up tilt waft and all that stuff, right? But up yeah. tilt yeah, is okay. minus 13. Yeah. So you can punish it. You can up smash me for up tilting you. And if I do that at death percent, bam, that's a win condition right there, right? So it's like yeah. knowing when to respect and knowing when it's your turn to take it. 
like take control. That makes sense. Yeah. This is a character that like he can kind of like he controls the pace a little bit more than you do in certain situations because of his like myriad of mobility. And that's the same idea with like Wolf, where his mobility might not be as as good, but he has things that are like really easy combos, and his moves beat a lot of your moves, and his laser. So if he he dictates the pace. But you have tools to get around that either way to take advantage of him as a character. That makes sense? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. And that's really the big thing is like, this is another matchup again where it's like, the big thing I want you to really work on like post this lesson is mastering forward air. I think that's a move that like you're a little too scared to use. And I want you to like be confident and like just swing in that move and being okay to just like jump in rising forward air and hit somebody for hopping around because it's just a free hit, and you can kill people with it. It's a great move. It's safe at landing on shield in most matchups. Like, it's great. And you want to be able to use that so you're not... Like, now that you've got pellets down, I want you to start expanding your horizon a little bit more. Okay. Make sense? Yeah, I think I see what you mean. Because forward air is a move that can be used aggressively and defensively. Yeah, I've definitely favored it a lot more defensively. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing, where I want you to be able to do both and have confidence in it. Because right now you're thinking about it, and that's because it's like a newer idea. And what all you gotta do is just like get it down, Pat, so you don't have to think about it. You just go, oh, okay, just bam, I hit you. <laughs> just like the way you do with back air, because you're really good with back air, and I want you to be as good with forward air as you are with back air. Make sense? Yeah, it does. Okay, do you have any questions? No, not, not right now. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and run off, and then we'll, uh, I'm gonna swap over to a different character, and we'll uh, do another one, okay? I will say though, Wolf is probably one of your worst matchups. So it's a very, very hard one. Yeah, that's definitely the one that like a lot of the Mega Man players are very, very optimistic. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of the only ones where everybody's just like, you know, it might be a little harder than yeah. most. So. And that's really the big thing, is like it's a hard, hard one. I don't know if you like hard lose it. It really depends on like the level of play. But it's definitely one where you, you don't get to just like be Mega Man, if you get what I mean. Yeah, you gotta be a little bit more. You gotta be more, yeah. Yeah, yeah more, just more in general, I like that. There you go. I Wolf like your hiding in the cloud. Go ahead. Wolf's definitely a character where, like, um, i played this matchup a lot. Mm -hmm. But, um, I don't know, it always feels like there's a couple of things that are just blocking me from doing better in it. But and that's the thing, I think it's because you're trying to like do the generic like game plan, and this is now where you have, like the character dictates the way the game goes instead of you doing that. That's where the flip side of like how we're, we've been kind of t going over stuff. This is a character that says no to you, instead of you saying no to them as much. Yeah. I guess not like a mattress specific thing. Um, how do I know when it's safe to dash away from laser? Because that's something that happens to me a lot. Is like I'll try to like run away or like I guess sometimes even run in. You got to get better at dashing and looking for the laser, and, or like walking back, so that you then can shield it. But it really depends on like your position. The closer you are to the laser, the more likely you are to get hit by it. But if you're pressing buttons, then he's just gonna shoot it because it's transcendent. Excuse me. Ooh, nice. And like the good thing is like Wolf is a character that's really easy for you to combo, but you have to like be confident in doing that. Yeah. Because he does it back to you. That's the problem. That's that's probably the scariest thing in the match Oops. in my opinion. Uh, <laughs> his damage output is just so scary. Yeah. I 
Face Picks too. There you go, good. And you waited for that, which is really, really good. And that's really the big thing. It's like you have to not think like Mega Man and just think like I am fighting Wolf. And like, what is he trying to do? Instead of being like, okay, how do I do all this pellets? Like, also, it, that just goes out the window in a matchup like this. And there's certain matchups where it's like you can just like, this is the game plan, this is just what it works. But Wolf is a character where you don't just get to do that for free. That makes sense. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, let's do one or two more games, then we'll finish up there, okay? Okay. The absolute tail end of that call me. <laughs> <laughs> people get surprised just how long the hitbox lasts. Oh, time. yeah. I will say also, like, this is a matchup that's actually harder for you online because laser is better online. So, like, when you get to practice this offline, because you understand, like, conceptually, like, there, you'll be able to just, oh, go, oh, I just need a shield instead of dashing there because you're, it's, like, uncomfortable to react to that online because of the delay. Yeah, oh, oh, you almost got me. good and that's really the big thing like you don't want to you don't want to trade with him or anything like that unless you're doing like forward air and like he's off stage because he'll just win his moves will just beat yours out and that was really good that you were uncomfortable even ledge trapping me and you just went for the corner trap instead of trying to fight me there you go yeah some of the honestly playing online if, if nothing else playing online really taught me like the importance of like corner trapping instead of just hard ledge trapping yes all. exactly Less traffic is obviously going to be a little bit harder to do on live fight. Oh, most definitely. Still bad idea. I want to get the diagonal, I got it a little too late. Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> that was intentional, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, totally, dude, own it. Yeah, I'll keep it up. Still going. There you go, good, and then you mix me up, nice.
Ooh, no! <laughs> oh no! It caught me off guard. Yeah. So ready to edge guard this. Actually, probably could have helped smash there. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> Very, very good. And you see there where it's like you're, you're thinking at, about like how to interact or not interact outside of just that base game plan now. You're expanding that and that's what's allowing you to be like, well, this is a character that invalidates how I would normally do this. What other options do I have? And now it's just like really capitalizing on that as an idea outside of just like doing that one thing because you got really good at that one thing and now you got to master how to not do that one thing. Make sense? Yeah, I think it makes sense. That's really the big thing is just like expanding your horizon and like using more options available to you Because you still can use pellets, but only in certain ways and you still can use side B and metal blade and all that stuff It's just about like it, it, it's all about context. And so now that becomes way more um, Potent because of like the nature of the matchup. That makes sense Yeah, absolutely. So it's just like it's just a matchup that I have to approach and see like we were saying, like it's just not something I could use in normal tactics again. Mm -hmm. okay. It's all about learning that context. Okay. Yeah. So I think we'll finish up there. Do you have any questions? Uh, no, I think I'm good here. Awesome. Let me go ahead and get your notes here. Alrighty, man, here you go. Um, within the next day or so, I should have your VOD up on YouTube and I can send that over to you. If you don't hear back from me before then, just go ahead and shoot me a message and I'll get it done for you right away. All right, man? Will do. All right, have a good one. Yeah, you too. Thank you so much for the lesson.